Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a declutter of my makeup collection because my Cosmo Cube that I love wasn't even going in and out as it should because there was just so much weight on it and I just kept throwing things into it and not really organizing it so I really wanted to organize and declutter. I've really been trying to live like with the least amount of clutter possible and that's really hard with my products but I'm really trying to at least get organized. I never really got the appeal of ASMR but I love declutter videos and just seeing people go through their makeup reorganizing So I'm not sure if everyone's gonna like this video, but I figured some of you may by the way Happy Easter happy Passover also happy April Fool's Day if you are subscribed to the CNC email list you got an April Fool's joke in your emails, which I've been saving for like over a year I've been wanting to do it finally got to live that dream today, but if you are not subscribed to the email list Check the down bar for maybe a coupon code for 20% off. Check it out and let me know if you like declutter videos because I can really declutter my skincare. I have a lot of skincare too. So let me know if you're interested and I can definitely film it for you. Okay, so you guys can't really see the complete craziness of this. I was just kind of feeling overwhelmed by my makeup. I had this Cosmo Cube and it was kind of buckling because it was, there's just so much stuff. This bag over here is stuff that actually I had in my everyday makeup thing and then that little bag with like the Urban Decay and the Too Faced that's like my everyday little contraption thing that I got I wanted to go through all of it and do kind of a little bit of a declutter <laughs> This Cosmo Cube, I'll show you from the front after. I love it. It's totally worth the price for me. I got it last year during the Sephora VIB Rouge sale, so I didn't pay full price. So you can find cheaper alternatives, but I haven't found any that were this big. And since I live in Canada, I don't have all the options for the U.S. So I have this bag over here, if you can see this one over here. Um, I started going through it in my PR cabinet. So this is not even containing, they like including makeup that I've received in PR. All my PR stuff is in my thing and then like this is just stuff that is in my personal collection that I use all the time so I really need to go through it. Either get rid of stuff, honestly most of the stuff I've used so giving to friends and family. I have this bag that whenever I have friends over I have a whole nother bag of skincare that I like that I use but I've been wanting to do it for a long time. I'm in my robe. I have this bag over here. This is just stuff that I'm going to give away and then I'm going to put stuff in garbage. So I have my facial cups that is not even supposed to be in here, a sponge from Sephora that I never use, Tony might want that, okay I don't know where to start. I have a backup of the Bobbi Brown Vitamin and Rich Face Base, obviously I'm going to keep that. I'm just going to make a keep pile and a giveaway pile. These foundations, okay, the It Cosmetics Anti-Aging Armor, I really do like this. Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream, I've used this a few times and I do like it. Um, I'm gonna keep it and then these are Clinique foundations even better glow I got these like I think in the fall, but I do like them So I'm gonna keep them around just to use during summer I have a bunch of sprays So Mac fix plus of course a classic Clinique moisture surge face spray. Honestly, I've never used this um, Bobbi Brown face mist. I love face mist. I have a freaking face mist obsession I cannot buy anymore makeup forever mist and fix almost done and then I have some um, skincare so the drunk elephant this eye cream I don't feel like it did much for me their new eye cream I love but I don't feel like this did much for me this face spray by allies of skin molecular savior mist I need to remember these things when I do my makeup is like I bring stuff out and then I just keep all of this here and it's no rhyme or reason. Okay, this L'Oreal color correction. I never really do color correction. This Drunk Elephant Marula Oil. I have tried it a few times, but I don't know. Like, I've never really used it. So I'm going to keep it to remember to use. The Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation, I did like. Heart Stick Foundation, I liked last year, but then when I tried it in the winter, I wasn't a fan. The Maybelline Super Stay, I do like. Aveda Cream, I've never used. The It Cosmetics CC Plus, CC Plus, you guys know I love. Then this is Kopari Coconut Face Cream. I mean, I've n I haven't really used that that much. Okay, the Burt's Bees Goodness Glows Liquid Makeup. I'm gonna keep it. I think I've used it once, but I don't really remember. Oh, Pop 2K Face Base. I don't really like it that much. First Aid Beauty Stick. That's, I'm gonna keep this. Friend Steph told me to get this, and I used it. 
but I always forget like what I have. So I'm not, I'm gonna keep it. This is a powder by Becca. This is Becca's cooling under eye primer. I'm gonna be honest, I don't feel like it did anything, but maybe this would be good for like summer pictures and stuff, like for Instagram. Okay, a Bobbi Brown powder, I'm gonna keep. Naked skin, never use. And I have um, two Becca concealers that I don't think I've actually ever tried. So I'm gonna try these out. This Too Faced Born This Way, this is old. I have an unopened um, First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer, Becca Primer. I actually love this and use this a lot, but I, you know, you have so much that like sometimes it's hard to use. Becca Backlight, oh my god, it's so dusty. Becca Backlight Priming Filter. This is almost done, so I'm gonna keep it. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and it's actually finished, so I don't know why I kept that. Oh my god, I loved these last summer, the uh, Cover Effect Drops, so I'm gonna keep those. Then I got this, this is the No Pore Bloom Primer. It was okay. And then this is the It Cosmetic Secret Sauce um, Anti-Aging Moisturizer. This needs to go into my skin because, okay, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, I never use that. This is another foundation. These are like all brushes that I have. I have this drawer and this is like high, okay, well this is a highlighter, so that should be in the highlighter drawer. This is a powder by It Cosmetics. This is the sweet tea box. Okay, I'm gonna kind of organize this. So these I all, okay, this hourglass, this is a blush, like I, there's no rhyme or reason here. Okay, I'm gonna do like matte powders. This is a bronzer. This is, I think, shimmer. Okay, so these are all matte, and I'm going to do bronzy shimmers here. Happy. Okay, now this is like a mega highlighter drawer. So I have, the thing is, is I know I have way too many highlighters. I just, um, I love highlighters. And I also, like, sometimes, like, I'm like, oh, I should keep some drugstore highlighters for videos. This Pexi by Petra, I don't think I've ever used. I don't think I would ever reach for this. So I'm going to put give this away. NARS. Bumpy Ride. This is a really pretty blush. So I need to remember to use this. So this, I'm going to put all blushes here. Becca Opal. I love the cream Becca's. This is a gorgeous highlighter by Becca. I think it'll be amazing in the summer. It's like a blend of all their highlighters. The Wet n Wild. I like keeping drugstore ones for videos. So I'm going to keep all the drugstore ones in the back here. And then this is the Makeup Forever highlighter that I loved at one point. Kat Von D, again, this is one that was like super trendy at one point and it's kind of, it's pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna keep that. This is by Becca, it's sort of like a blush. So I'm gonna put it with the blushes and maybe I'll remember to use it. Do I have two of these? Amethyst Flashes Geode, huh. I think I have two of these, so maybe I'll do a giveaway if you guys are watching this video. It's unopened. Okay, maybe I'll do a giveaway since I have an unopened one in box. This is a Dior highlighter that people love and go crazy for. It's limited edition. It's bronzy though, so I'm gonna keep it. NARS Gulu. I think this is a blush, yeah. This is like a nice like wintry sort of blush. And this is Deep Throat, another blush. I'm not a big blush person. I do like this blush though. Expo is it exposed? Yeah. And then, so these are all blushes. And this is, I think, Melba or Peaches or Cantaloupe or something. Becca Flower Child. Oh, that's really pretty. I don't think I've ever used this. Ooh, this actually looks right up my alley. So I'm gonna put this in my everyday makeup thing so I can remember to use it. Becca Champagne Pop Cream. Then this one I love during the winter. It's Becca lilac geode it's really fun i love becca these are some of my mac powders i used to have like 30 of them and i sold a lot of them got rid of them this one is from their heatherette collection i will never get rid of this i mean if the price is right i would get rid of it if someone wants to spend like a thousand then yeah have it but i would never get rid of it like they don't make collections like this anymore this i loved it was it's called refined i think and it was just the most gorgeous bronzy skin finisher I miss being so into MAC. Uh, Stereo Rose. This is like a cult favorite. I don't even know what people use it for. And this one I, I do love. It's called, I don't even know, but it was bronzy and pink. So I'm definitely keeping that. I did not make much progress with these highlighters, but it's okay. And these are not even all my highlighters. That's the really scary part right now. Like for some reason, this is glitchy to get in. This drawer is not that full. The Jessie palette, if anyone wants to buy it for a good price, let me know. I never use it. Mario Anastasia palette. 
I did use a good amount of that. I have some Becca palettes. This is the Ombre Nudes and I think Ombre Rouge. Makeup for, oh my god, I used to love this. This is like Aqua Brow. A MAC eyeshadow called Honey Lust. Some, a Stila palette that I used to love, if you guys remember. This is really good for travel, so I, I'm gonna keep this. Then this primer by pop I never use. Okay, um, some pal we're gonna put palettes in here. This isn't one of my favorite bronze eyeshadows from the drugstore. Brass Knuckles. Um, these Bobbi Brown shadow sticks, honestly, I don't think I, I would use, so I'm just gonna give them to Tony. This, this, I feel like, hmm, I like this primer. This is an eyeliner. I'm gonna keep Nude Beach by Bobbi Brown. And I don't know why this thing is like being so hard to take in and out. So I'm going to take the lips, which is nuts. Much better. Now we're going to go into, into lips. So I have a lot of lip stuff. I have a lot of MAC. So Bobbi Brown, Bobbi. This is a really pretty, just like nude, my lips put better color. So I'm going to keep that. Let's just take out all the MAC ones. And like you guys remember that amazing package that MAC sent me last summer with all, like, all their lipsticks. This isn't what they sent me. This is my personal collection that I've purchased, so you can imagine how many lipsticks I have. Max Snob. I love my MAC lipsticks. They're my favorite lipsticks to this day. Now this one is Makeup Forever M100. That is a pretty color, so I'm gonna keep that. The Tarte lipsticks, I love. Oh, shit, that fell right out onto the floor. Okay. So Beach Babe and Skinny Dips. So now we're getting into the, oh, I have two, I have a lot more lipsticks here. Then I have, okay, this I don't think I've ever shown you. This was a lipstick that I was gonna come out with and I loved the color. This actually is one, it was such a pretty color. It just didn't work out with the company. This was gonna be my, Lipstick it says my name on it, so I'm never gonna get rid of it. This is Hourglass, a little femme nude stick. I think Tony would really like this, so I'm gonna put this for her. This Buxom lipstick I got, um, in the color Rebel Rose. It's just very dark for me. It's a nice texture though. Oh my god, do you guys remember when I loved Bite Meringue? Nars Raquel. I love this color. This is such a good color. Nars Roman Holiday. I have a Chanel lipstick in the color Boy, which I've literally had since high school, but I'm not gonna get rid of it. These two by Tarte. I have a Jeffree Star lipstick in the color um, celebrity skin it just it was too um it's here but i'm a lipstick quarter so i'm okay with now i'm here we have a pencil sharpener i have some glosses these petra things i've never used glossier meh this is a mac lip gloss from the barbie collection it's so old but i'll never get rid of it and it's because i remember to this day my mom picking tony and i up from school and my mom bought us each one of these and i treasured this because of the barbie on it so i'm never gonna get rid of it this like little buxom gloss i'm gonna get rid of mac lip gloss mac lip gloss this also is from mac and i'll never get rid of it my aunt maria gave um one it's a tinted lip conditioner from mac and she gave one to tony and i like one of the summer we went to Greece when we were really young I treasured it and so I, I never get rid of it because whenever I look at it it just reminds me of my aunt and it's cute and so I'm, I'm not gonna get rid of it I still have more lipstick so I have my, the Bobbi Brown Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar that's a really good gloss another Bobbi Brown lip balm lip balm I did not make too much progress in here this I just got the Marc Jacobs coconut spray the Tatcha Primer, of course. Bobbi Brown Vitamin and Rich Base, of course. Um, I've been loving Armani Luminous Silk. Oh, Mike just brought me this, but it's done. So I think it's done. I'm pretty sure it's done. Oh, I might be able to squeeze a little bit more out of it. Chase Eyeshadow. This I have not been, the Bare Minerals I haven't been using lately, so I'm gonna bring it back. This I just got Marc Jacobs, Marc Jacobs. The CC cream I don't use every single day. Peach Perfect cream I just have been I have been using. Anastasia highlighter is the highlighter I've been using. 
This is a Givenchy powder that I'm gonna leave here. It's the Rose Glow Spray by Living Libations that you can get at the brow bar. I've been loving this pharmacy green screen um, sunscreen. It's like my favorite sunscreen I've tried, so of course that's gonna stay. This is a cucumber cooling stick, so I'm gonna leave it like with my skin stuff. The Origins Primer, I think I'm gonna leave here. Becca Topaz, I still use that all the time. This Fresh Sugar, I haven't used in a while, so I'm gonna leave here. Beauty Blender, Beauty Blender, Beauty Blender, I don't need three at a time. The Gua Sha Tool, um, the Fenty Highlighter, I'm gonna leave here. The MAC Coconut Primer Spray, I've used so much. Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer, the Photo Focus Concealer I've been loving, the Lano Lips I've been loving, favorite Clinique glosses, of course I use these every day, Pharmacy um, Moisturizer I've also been using very frequently, this is the eye cream I've currently been using by Drunk Elephant, um, this is the Vitamin C, a Vitamin C spray so I'm going to leave that here, Wink by Bare Minerals I use like every day. Sundew by Living Libations. I do use pretty often, so I'm going to leave it in my everyday stuff. I love this Laneige thing. I use it pretty much all the time, and this is a lot of lips. So we have the Becca Purple Highlighter, which I do use pretty often, but I'm going to leave it here. This is a, like a cheek stick, so I'm going to leave it here. I like this gloss. I like this gloss a lot. This mascara is done. Becca Flower Child. Oh, I put this in here. I was like, do I have two of those two? Um, a little face shaver. Banished oil. Shape tape, shape tape, of course. I'm going to leave the Sunday Riley Autocorrect. Just Becca, I think this is Vanilla Quartz. I really like this highlighter, so I'm going to leave that there. Some contact lenses. Another two lipsticks that I've been loving, so I'm going to leave that here. This I haven't been using too much, Buxom. Okay, so this is like my everyday makeup thing. I saw it on an ad on Facebook. I, I You can, should not buy things you see on Facebook because you can find it cheaper elsewhere. So I'm just going to put all my everyday makeup back into here. Now we have this giant bag. So I have all my facial cupping stuff, which of course I'm gonna keep. I have a Juno face oil, which I'm gonna keep in here so I can remember to see it. This I've used up, it's by Dr. Dennis Gross. Um, it's their collagen spray, I really did like that. I have some skin prep pads that I need to use. I have a Becca powder in Golden Hour. Okay, I have some more brushes, so Bobbi Brown. And then I was sent a bunch of these Ilia um, it's a new brand I need to remember to use. I have another face mist, the Saturday Skin Essence Mist. I really do like it. This is a Too Faced liquid lipstick that I like. Title by Sunday Riley. Here we have a open coconut skin primer. Another CC cream. Bronzer, I actually just broke my Physicians Formula one. Okay, rose hip seed oil. I keep skin cupping. Okay, oh my god, I remember I used to love this. A tight line mascara. This Becca palette I do love, so of course I'm gonna keep that. An Anastasia eyeshadow. Butter, okay, more drugstore highlighters. HD foundation stick. This Bye Bye Redness by It Cosmetics I've never really used. Oh my god, I was looking for my white nail polish and I just went and bought a new one because it was in this bag of stuff that I. We're almost done with this bag. Okay, another drugstore highlighter, a Maybelline eyebrow pencil, Opal, no, Opal by Becca. Of course, I'm gonna keep it, but I'm just not currently using it that much. Okay, these NYX powder puffs I never use. Brow gel, never really use. This is a moisturizer by First Aid Beauty that I should remember to use. It's really nice and lightweight. This is a Becca brush. That's good to have, I feel. It's very universal. More MAC lipsticks. Another liquid lipstick by Smashbox that I really like. All my face sprays I'm going to put in the bottom drawer just because I don't have room up here anymore for them, so hopefully they all fit. I feel like this color is most close to mine, so I'm going to put this in PR. Okay, and then I have a, I'm have going to make a bathroom pile, so bathroom, bathroom. This pale, that's not a fart, I just did that with my leg. Pale yellow powder. I'll leave it here because it's like setting. 
Same with this Givenchy powder, but it's too big to stand. This is a Becca powder, so I'll leave that here. And then I have these three highlighter sticks by First Aid Beauty, so I'm gonna leave them up here. This Becca thing, I'm not like too keen on it, but I think like if I wanna do like a cute picture, it's, it's good to have. This is a backup of the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base that I have and love, so I'm gonna put that in PR, that in PR. This is a um, powder by Becca that I always forget to use, but I feel like it's really pretty. So I need to remember to use it, especially because I haven't been baking lately. So I'm gonna put that in my everyday makeup so I remember to use it. So if you made it this far in the video, look at this packaging. I'll, I will be giving away the Becca Amethyst Flashes Geode, brand new in box, because I already have one, I don't need two, obviously. So if you made it this far, all you have to do is be following me on Instagram, and comment on this video what your all-time favorite highlighter is and then I will give away this brand new Becca highlighter thing. And then all this Ilya stuff, I think that's how you say it, I'm gonna keep because I wanna try them more out. I know I still have more makeup than the average person or anyone needs, but you know, I've loved makeup since I was 13, years. well probably my whole life, I've been doing YouTube since I was 13, makeup's been a really huge part of my life. And I have accumulated a lot, so it's way more organized now. I got rid of um, a good amount of things because, believe it or not, I actually do a pretty good job of like getting rid of things I don't like. So I never like get so overwhelmed. I'm constantly giving away to like friends and family and stuff. So this over here is just like my everyday makeup that I know I like that I use. And then in my PR cabinet, I keep like things that I get sent that maybe I get multiples of. So this is really like my makeup collection. I also have this little bag full of stuff that I use um, pretty much on a daily basis or every day more regularly. It all fits in there in that little bag. So um, over here on the top, I just have like my foundations or tinted moisturizer, tinted moisturizers. These are like primers, concealers, highlighters. Um, and then over here I have brushes, um, skin like some skin sprays and um, like skincare products. And then this first drawer is setting powders and some highlight stuff. Then this drawer is like all highlighters and powders. Eyes. This is like the worst drawer. I have a lot of lip stuff. I love lip stuff. I just can't get rid of stuff. And then over here I have, like I showed you, some things. And then I put some other things back in the PR cabinet. And then um, I'm giving away like a lot of stuff over here in here and then these are the Ilia products that I need to try out. I've tried a few like the uh, cucumber stick but I need to try more of these and like the lip colors. But yeah, it feels good because I've been meaning to get this organized because like it was like buckling and not going in nicely. And there is a lid but I don't put a lid on it. Now it's all kind of organized. I got rid of some things, got rid of garbage, uh, put some stuff in the giveaway, put stuff back where they belong like in the... and then I'm also really happy that I got rid of all the bags and stuff. So, mission accomplished.